So just the other day, we got confirmation from Blumhouse that the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is moving rapidly. And today, we have our first poster of Willy's Wonderland. It's a great time to be a fan of evil animatronic puppets that haunt people at a children's play area. Screw it. Bring on Banana Splits 2. I'll watch it, sci-fi. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. We have an update on Willy's Wonderland that seems to be the official title. No more calling it Wally's Wonderland. A lot of you are new to the channel since I did that Five Nights at Freddy's video where I got to ask Jason Blum himself what is going on with the live action Five Nights at Freddy's movie. So many of y'all were so excited for that video. 3,000 of y'all decided to subscribe right then and there. Feeling famous. So while we wait for that Five Nights at Freddy's movie to eventually happen, hopefully, there's a movie up and coming this year that sounds pretty similar to what a Five Nights at Freddy's movie could be like, but this ain't no ripoff. It sounds like the real deal. I'm gonna be breaking down the first look at the poster for this movie along with a longer synopsis that came with this poster that gives us a better idea of what's going on in this movie. But I'm gonna need your guys' opinions down below on what you think about this. Are you still looking forward to Willy's Wonderland? What do you think of the full synopsis? Are you digging the poster? I really love how it went from Five Nights of Freddy's fans hating this movie, calling it a ripoff, to now actually being pretty excited and really looking forward to it. So just a quick summer if you haven't heard, this movie entitled Willy's Wonderland is going to star Nicolas Cage where he plays a janitor at an amusement park and during the night shift at this amusement park all the animatronic puppets start coming to life and wanting to attack him and Nicolas Cage has to fight for survival. This movie is still set to come out this year around October with the pandemic, a lot of stuff can change. We've already already had the director on Twitter say that the trailer could be coming by the end of July and now the first poster has leaked online and it's just gotten me really hyped up. The poster was found by a bunch of fans who were doing some digging on the movie Willy's Wonderland and they came across this website where essentially movies go to to try and sell their film to bigger studios so that they can distribute it out worldwide. And right here we have our first look of Willy's Wonderland and the poster. Now, like I said, this poster is meant to sell the film so this isn't really the poster that they want the public to see that is probably going to be merchandise sold or hanging up in movie theaters. This was a poster mainly meant to sell the movie to distributors who were interested in showing the film in different markets. So although this is the first poster and our first official look of what this Wally's Wonderland will be looking like, the poster that is meant for the public to get us more excited might look completely different. But with that said, I'm loving the look of this. Nicolas Cage, front and center, the badass that he is. He's definitely already fought a couple of puppets from this poster. I mean, he's got a rope, he's got a stick in his hands. He already looks a little beaten up, but it looks like he has a band-aid on his face. I like the lighting that is set up. I think there's even a couple of puppets that have already been destroyed on the floor. If you look at the back, that's one of the animatronic puppets that is coming after you. So far, this is the most terrifying one because a leaked photo showed us that this animatronic puppet entitled Gus the Gorilla stalks you in the bathroom to make sure you're wiping. And if he's sneaking up on Nicolas Cage, I just hope he don't drop the soap. Now this first poster isn't exactly what I was thinking of. I would want some of the puppets that are said to be in this film front and center in the poster. So maybe that'll come later when they actually market it to us. We do have some of the names of the animatronic puppets that'll be coming out here. Some of the puppets that you can expect to see and their names here are Willie the Weasel, Ozzy the Ostrich, Gus the Gorilla, Tito the Turtle, Artie the Alligator, Cammy Chameleon, Nighty Knight, and Siren Sarah. Those are some pretty awesome names. They really fit in line with the aesthetic of what like a Chuck E. Cheese or an amusement park filled with these puppets walking around. This also couldn't be a more perfect time to release a movie like this, especially when Chuck E. Cheese, a place where a lot of us spent our childhood, is going bankrupt and possibly disappearing off the face of the earth thanks to the pandemic. Watching a movie like this that from the behind the scenes photos looks like it was really inspired by a Chuck E. Cheese aesthetic where you have a little birthday party and people in creepy puppet costumes singing a happy birthday this movie will be a fun ride in that aspect but aside from that along with this poster there was an attachment for a much longer synopsis to really give us an idea of where the story is headed in this Willy's Wonderland movie the full plot synopsis that they have here the janitor Cage finds himself stranded in a remote town. Unable to pay the repair shop to fix his Jeep, he agrees to work off his debt by spending the night 
cleaning Wally's Wonderland, an abandoned theme park full of animatronic characters that were once a beacon of fun for children to play with. But Wally's Wonderland carries a dark secret that the janitor is about to discover. He's been lured into a deadly trap, or rather a living nightmare, as the Wonderland's animatronic characters come to life to destroy him. The janitor is forced to fight his way from one monster to another, trying to survive until morning. And the janitor doesn't play nice. The action-packed, nail-biting, and terrifying tale will take you on the ride of your life. How could you not be excited for this movie? I get all the time people who are still against this film just because it reminds them too much of what a Five Nights at Freddy's movie would be like. And if you think about it, Five Nights at Freddy's doesn't hold the rights to evil animatronic puppets. I mean, just look at the Chucky movies. Those technically an evil animatronic puppet right there. I really dig where this is headed. The poster makes me excited. The synopsis makes it so much more clear where this film is headed. I really want to know the secret behind this Willy's Wonderland and what's going down. We can probably obviously guess that it was up and running a big family place until tragedy hit it. And now who knows what Nicolas Cage is going to be facing in this movie. Let me know what you guys think about this elongated plot synopsis. Are you liking it? What do you think of the poster? Are you still excited to see Willy's Wonderland. How do you feel about the Five Nights comparisons? Anything and everything, you guys go ahead and leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.